daylight saving time. It is this weekend. You are going to turn your clock forward one hour and yes, you are going to lose an hour of sleep. I asked a sleep expert what we should do right now in preparation. Gradually shift your child's bedtime over the next few days um, before the clock changes. So every evening, advance your bedtime by 15 minutes. So if your child's bedtime is eight o'clock, you can shift it to 7.45, and then the next night, 7.30, and then the night after, 7.15. By the way, what works for the kids works for us adults too. So adjust your sleep schedule the next couple of days and your future self will definitely thank you. Now, what if you already have trouble sleeping? I mean, you wake up, you toss, you turn. You are certainly not alone. Consumer Reports surveyed more than 2,000 adults in the U.S. and 9 out of 10 said they had experienced at least one sleep challenge in the previous 12 months. Our sleep expert says if you can't sleep, get out of the bed. Read, listen to soft music, meditate. What you don't want to do is get on the phone or watch TV. Avoid staying in bed. Um, definitely break the cycle. Simply distracting yourself from the frustration of not sleeping can make you sleepy. And once you feel drowsy, get back into your bed and try again. Whether you like daylight saving time or not, it is happening and it is happening this weekend. You are going to spring forward one hour.